All right guys, so a lot of you asked me, how do I install the Seeker steering wheel? For the OEM steering wheel, you're gonna have two T30s Torx holding the airbag in. Once you remove those, you pull the airbag out, disconnect it, then you're gonna need a 10 millimeter Allen to remove the steering wheel bolt. So right now I've got the battery disconnected. Let's kind of reverse engineer this so that you guys can see how it works. If you're going to purchase these steering wheel titanium bolts, uh, make sure you get the proper length. These are longer than your standard steering wheel kits. Okay, so cut the wheel off. I'll show, you, I'll show you guys what's all in here. All right, let's take these off. Okay, so this is the very bottom base part of the work spell hub. So you're just gonna bolt that in using the OEM steering wheel bolt. It's cut out at the top for the OEM harness to come through. You're going to have a ground wire sticking out. Just screw that on here onto the back of the second part of the work spell hub. Then you're just going to snake all the wires through like this. And I had it lined up like this. These are five millimeter Allen head. Okay. And these two, these are two separate ones that I taped together. These were plugged into the OEM airbag. And so these have the two NRG, two ohm resistor error cancelers connected to them. It, all it has is two wires sticking out and you're just gonna plug them straight into each little socket on both of the airbag harness plugs. Originally, the kit came with only one canceler. I believe they said in Japan, they only run one little harness plug to the airbag, but the USDM and European cars have two. So you'll just need to pick up another one, but I believe my friend that ordered this kit recently it came with two now so just plug them into here and then tape it up real good so they don't get loose another tip is when you're putting them into the plug you'll see a little notch side on this end of the resistor and you're going to want to make sure that if you fold it downwards with the notch or else if i bent it the other way it would just snap and the uh, connectors will come apart right there. Okay, so here's how the little SRS resistors look. And you can see this one, this is one that actually broke. And the ends are very sensitive because they're really thin. So be careful when you're using them. So what I meant by plugging them in the proper way, you wanna plug it in so, so you'll notice there's like a little indention for them to fold. So you'll wanna plug it in like that and then fold it down this way just so it'll be cleaner if you tried if i had tried to plug it in the other way and folded it it would have snapped um, i might as well show you guys because yeah this one's useless anyway so look if i had plugged it in the wrong way like that it's already about to snap oh there it goes it just fell off in my hands so make sure you plug in the right way, fold it downwards, tape it up with electrical tape, get it nice and secure, and then basically just stuff it in there. Oops, let's tighten these. Star pattern. Anytime you see bolts on like a circular thing like this, you'll want to tighten it in like the star pattern. Just like with your lugs. And as you notice, this turn, and you know when you're car is off if you turn your wheel one way or the other it'll lock in that position and so when you're taking off the OEM steering wheel what you're gonna find is that when you use all your muscle on that breaker bar and turn that steering wheel bolt you're actually gonna turn this to the left and it's gonna lock in that position so it's not gonna be straight perfectly straight anymore and you might get a little confused when you put the next steering wheel on so go and put the negative terminal back on the battery you're not gonna start the car just go into I believe the second one which is just on or accessory mode oh, I, I didn't even have to go to the second one as soon as I pressed the, it the first time you saw the steering wheel recenter so now that it's straight 
and I know it's gonna bolt in here like this so now we can disconnect the battery again so I have a works though short hub here and you'll need a short hub if you want to run like a quick tilt or quick release so you can see how much shorter it is it's about an inch if you're running the SRD kit that has the buttons right here uh, it's a little awkward I didn't like that kit it felt I felt like it'd be weird to reach under to hit the buttons so I really prefer this one the secret one where it's like in the original position and so when you're installing the SRD kit there's going to be a little bit more wiring but for the horn that's the easiest way I can explain it you need to ground it onto the hub itself and then put this onto the horn the way Seeker has it so you can pull these harnesses out is it's got an extra little plate and on the plate you'll see two grooves right here little cutouts and that's for the wiring to snake through and plug into the OEM controls all right at this point you're going to put the little black plastic cover on you're going to connect the horn here go ahead and plug the OEM controls in Make sure your wires are in the little grooves. And just place a couple bolts to kind of hold it in place. All right, double check, make sure your wires are going through the little cutouts and not getting pinched. Yep. Okay, before I completely tighten these bolts, I want to just make sure the airbag light doesn't come on when I start the car. So let's reconnect the battery and start the car. So yeah, I got the usual errors that'll go away after driving about five minutes. But yeah, you can see that there's no SRS light. So from here, we can make sure our horn button's straight. Go ahead and tighten these. So we've got everything tightened up. No error lights. The wires on this side are good. Going that, through that little plate. They're not getting pinched. And that's all there is to it. So next time you see me, I'll be installing a Workspell GTC Quick Tilt on this and it's going to be the first time trying to get it to work with the Seeker steering wheel because of the wiring so I'm going to have to figure out how to work that properly but I really want a Quick Tilt because it'll be easier to get in and out of the car. I'll see you guys later.